What are martial arts exactly? To answer that, we need to journey back in time to the origins of martial arts. Our journey takes us back to the ancient civilizations where martial arts began as organized combat. The oldest combat sport wrestling took root in these civilizations while boxing found its origins in Mesopotamia. As we move further east, we see how the cultural exchanges between China and India shaped the foundation of East Asian and South Asian martial arts. But the story doesn't stop there. In Europe, martial arts traditions date back to ancient Greece, represented in the ancient Olympic Games. From boxing to wrestling to the Greeks' pancreation, these sports were more than just competitions. They were a way of life. So from the ancient wrestling pits to the Olympic arenas, martial arts have always been a part of human history. As time passed, martial arts evolved, adapting to the needs and cultures of different societies. This evolution was not linear, but rather a process of continual adaptation and refinement. Martial arts split into two broad categories, unarmed and armed combat, each with its own myriad of styles and weapons. Unarmed combat, the oldest form of martial arts, includes disciplines like wrestling and boxing. Armed combat, on the other hand, introduced a variety of weapons, from the simple staff to the intricate three-section nunchaku. Each weapon necessitated its own set of techniques, further diversifying the world of martial arts. But martial arts are more than just combat techniques. Over time, they began to incorporate elements of traditional medical theory. Acupuncture points, meridians, and the concept of chi became intertwined with martial techniques, adding a layer of complexity and depth. Moreover, martial arts began to create connections with religion and spirituality. In the East, Buddhism, Taoism, and Shintoism influenced the development of martial arts, adding philosophical and moral dimensions. In the West, the chivalric code shaped the principles of European martial arts. Over the centuries, martial arts have transformed from primal combat techniques to complex systems of self-defense, competition, and personal development. Today, martial arts are more than just combat systems. They're a way of life for many, and a source of entertainment for even more. Our fascination with these intricate forms of combat was ignited in the West during the 60s and 70s, when Hong Kong films brought the dynamic action of martial arts to our cinema screens. These films not only showcased the athleticism and discipline of the martial artists, but also the artistry and philosophy behind each movement. In our contemporary age, martial arts have permeated every aspect of society. They're practiced for a range of reasons, from the practical to the personal. Some people train in martial arts for self-defense, learning techniques to protect themselves and their loved ones. Others use martial arts in military applications where the discipline, precision and strategic thinking they cultivate are invaluable. Martial arts also thrive in the realm of competition. From local tournaments to international championships, athletes test their skills against one another, pushing the limits of their physical and mental endurance. And for many, martial arts serve as a path to personal development, offering a holistic approach to physical fitness, mental clarity, and spiritual growth. So from ancient battlefields to modern dojos and cinema screens, martial arts continue to shape our world in ways we may not even realize.